there in this tutorial we discuss about uh, how to create a, a DRA agent or a EFS agent so in the last tutorial we learned about the concept of how to configure a encrypted file system uh, we encrypted a file but uh, we also discuss about the backup now two things are there if you are backing backup key it create a backup key uh, create a backup certificates then it's okay but if you find or if you lost certificates uh, the, uh, the primary one or the backup one then you will lose the access uh, from the file which is quite an unsecure thing if you are using the file uh, and if uh, very important data is there so it's always better to create a agent a recovery agent so here we have to give a command so let me first go to desktop so cd dot dot cd dot cd dot dot now okay so cd users and my username is administrator and I have to move first move to desktop so we will find out the file uh, quickly uh, we will create uh, a certificate and a backup key so where the command is cipher space slash r codes colon dra keys so we have to give a password for the keys and dot pfx is key and one file dot cer is a certificate and dot pfx is a private key which can be used uh, to access a file so two uh, file is created it's just dot cer is a certificate and dot pfx is a backup key now I have to open a group policy editor local group policy editor at Windows setting computer configuration Windows settings security settings public key policies and when you open EFS encrypted file system currently no encrypted file system is defined so we have to add a DRA a recovery agent next and now we have to browse the certificate we created moments ago via command so the, here we go here it is the RA keys open it and I'm getting an error uh, this is normal because we generated a certificate our, of our own so basically it's a self-signed certificate that's the reason uh, system you can see user unknown is written because a certificate is self-signed so okay finish so currently we uh, generate an encrypted file system and uh, goes to properties uh, goes to encrypted file system and goes to properties and notice that you can even allow don't allow uh, the DRA the encrypted agent uh, sometime what happened that uh, the network uh, exactly uh, not, doesn't require us to uh, become an agent so okay so I'm just going to logging off uh, first to create some file so I'm logging with the tech client and uh, let me show you one thing just to start computer uh, okay at documents and you can see there you're asking me to create a backup file so I'm create a for example a rich text document 
and give some name for example test file and when I create file you can see the color is already changed is is changed to green and uh, when you uh, twice to open it uh, for example goes to properties advanced details and you can see the recovery agent is uh, assigned to administrator uh, which we enable it uh, moments ago and you can see we can even create a backup keys uh, via tech clients it's better to uh, create a backup key and save the file uh, uh, if the file is very important so we just got to know that our agent is uh, our EFS agent is assigned you can see in the same file resume file uh, the agent is assigned and you can create a backup key too so let me log in off with administrator once again since this administrator is now become the co-owner of the file but you will find one interesting thing that even after becoming a co-owner uh, administrator will not able to open the file you can see access is denied uh, access is denied uh, so there is a point I want to prove that doesn't matter it becomes a owner of the file but we yet to create a certificate of this system so we have to add and remove snapping so we go to certificates finish okay certificates and when you find certificate thing double click personal and you find there is empty and nothing is this so we have to create a certificate so here you have a pfx file remember always access pfx file because this is the private key we will able to access the file privately uh, we need uh, access of private keys so next just go nothing to do just give a password whatever you give during a uh, command and just next next finish and this import has was successful just now refresh and find the certificates option and now uh, a recovery certificate is generated to administrator user now when you saw when it goes to users the client tries to access a file for example test file you can see we able to access the file uh, very easily and no error at all but when you tries to open resume we will get the error so until uh, unless a uh, resume file don't get modified or update or edit uh, this administrator user will not able to access because that EFS uh, file the file is already encrypted before administrator uh, 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 got the rights of uh, the EFS agent but uh, text file uh, now on verse whatever file uh, created by tech line administrator user will able to access the file without uh, any hurdle so let me give a password create one more file at the same documents so for example office work and you can see again it turned out green logging off administrator give a password users tech client office work and able to open the file without any hurdle because uh, we just assign this administrator user uh, EFS agent and but whatever user tech client user will create whatever file in the 
in the my documents it will not only will be encrypted but uh, only administrator user will get the access no other user remember no other guest user at what doesn't matter only two users in the entire computer will able to access the file so this is what the EFS is all about so create a backup and also allow one user uh, administrator that is to uh, at least become an owner so create a backup from here backup keys from here and allow a, one particular user to recover the file or access the file as a secondary owner or co-owner so hope you learn something about uh, EFS how to create a EFS agent it's a very complicated thing but you have to do a lot to know about it thanks for watching